Okay, well, for those of you who have seen both Batman Forever and The Cable Guy, both starring Jim Carrey, know a few, know a few details about both movies. They both star Jim Carrey. Well, they both star Jim Carrey. A diabolical Jim Carrey at that. Uh, also, in both movies, he has some sort of obsession with, with television. And is also, also always in dire need of a partner or a friend. In both of these movies, okay? So, um, so, the point that I'm trying to get to, the point that I'm trying to make here is, is, um, is Edward Nig, well, is, uh, is the cable guy Edward Nigma? So, uh, so, so, uh, let me start with Batman Forever here. See, for those of you who have watched Batman Forever, you know that Edward Nigma slash the Riddler was working on a mind control device in, at Wayne Tech. And then had his project shut down and then tried to bring it back up with the help of his with the help of his first partner, Harvey Dent. And then when things things there went downhill, they uh well Harvey Dent dies and then Batman sends the Riddler off to Arkham. Sometime after he was locked away in Arkham, he escaped. And instead of getting revenge on Batman like most people would think he would have done, instead he completely flees Gotham and goes and goes to a, a nobody town way, way south of there. So, um, and then that's when he begins to begins to look for another criminal partner to start his stuff again. And that's when he, that's when he seeks uh, friendship from uh, from Matthew Broderick in that movie. And why it is that he always needs a partner is described in in the Cable Guy movie. As a kid, he never had any any. Well, he never had a brother or sister or anything like that, so. He keeps trying to fill the vo that void. So, so uh, finally he he gets Matthew Roderick to fill that void, and then things go down between the two of them, and then that's when, uh, and then that's when it comes to the the big uh, conclusion there toward the end of Cable Guy, when he fought when he fell on the satellite. In the in the movie, the Cable Guy, they never explain what his real name is. So, I've also come down to the conclusion that uh, that he completely left up left behind his identity as Edward Nigma. So, so uh, that's why they was never able to figure out his real name or let anybody tell anybody about his real name. So, uh, so, um, at the end of that movie, that's when they figure out his identity and send him back to Arkham. They don't show it, but that's what happens. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Edward Nigma is the cable guy.